Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you very much for coming along. Last time we rolled up here and found that there was an assault in progress that actually turned out to be Maelstrom gangers stripping hidden Netrunner gear out of one of these trains, ready to uh, ship it out and set it off to the Voodoo Boys. But we, uh, we managed to intercept them first. I would have loved to have kept it all civil-like with our new red LED-eyed buddies, but uh, they had other ideas, so I acquiesced and chopped them all to pieces. I'd like to go and find another job or two for Regina whilst we're here. Uh, I know that we've got this thievery job over uh, towards the Arasaka Plaza. Where's this actually? Oh, it's still classed as Northside. Okay. Yeah, Arasaka Waterfront is a little bit further west. Uh, but I'd like to come and take on this thievery job for Regina and um, also check out these three stores. The food store might be handy for stocking up on, uh, on food stuffs of a higher healing potential. But we've also got a drugstore here as well as a weapon shop so it would be interesting to see what they hold for us see if we can fill out this uh this extended quick bar that we've got down in the bottom left there let me just uh unpeel my car from from that barrier and make my way over to the next objective so i think i think i'm beginning to improve a little bit in the uh, the combat what should we say? Combat tactics and uh, strategy department, I guess. It's um, it's 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 slowly coming together. The fact that uh, I've chosen to make life difficult for myself by not only bumping up the difficulty level of the rebalance mod in the last episode, but also sticking to katanas only during combat. Um, this look, oh, this looks frightfully unsafe. <laughs> no wonder vehicles end up in the drink. Um, yeah, it does make it, uh, it does make it a tad more tricky, but, uh, we did pick up one of the early perks that, uh, that makes it so that when we're on foot closing in on a target, we have enhanced armor rating, so that should help us. B, got a gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. Oh, shit. The only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the oh. original BD that recorded the whole thing. <gasps> yeah, you heard that right, unfortunately. More info attached. Oh, no. They recorded it. Get the raw BD of the murder of Bryce Stone's son. My good friend, the televangelist Bryce Stone, don't ask, it's complicated, needs our help. His little boy was kidnapped and brutally murdered a few days later. The NCPD dropped the case due to lack of evidence. Bryce decided to take matters into his own hands and found the BD scroll of his murder, but the virtue's heavily edited, meaning there aren't a lot of clues to go on. If you could get your hands on the raw cut, there's a chance we could identify the murderer. The Virtue was put out by two XBD tuners, Gottfried and Frederick, in Northside. I'm betting they still have the original somewhere. Just watch out for the Maelstromers that are guarding them. Oh, we've got another tussle with the Strom. So I don't feel anywhere near as bad now for taking out those Maelstromers at, the, uh, at that other location. Yep. Maelstrom Goon, Maelstrom Maniac. The Maniacs are uh, shotgun-toting uh, freaks. Okay, let's breach so we can at least ping whilst we're outside, we're in uh, sort of neutral territory and get an idea of what the resistance is. So, 1C E9551C, 1C E9551C. B E A. Beautiful. I've right, got at least three targets because I saw one being breached on the roof. Oh, we can't ping. Rubbish. Target not hackable. Let's see if they've uh, wired themselves into the local machinery like morons. It's uploading to the server. Uh, <laughs> that took its time. Right, two outside, two in there, and about another three up on the roof. Oh, and one patrolling right here. Okay. All right. Those ad odds aren't actually too bad because, again, like last time, they're, um, they're quite spread out. So... Let's see. Where is this guy? Here he is. Wait, what was that? Oh, a gate. Busted gate. Okay. Right. Let's uh, let's have a quick scan. See if we can see any cameras. Actually, that would be quite handy. Hello. Wonderful day. Just passing by. Don't mind me. Hmm. 
There's another one. Uh, there's a fella up there. Oh, he's just outside of my scanning range, so I can't actually tag him. I can see him highlighted, but I can't actually tag. I did hear wearing of a camera, though. Wait. Cam... Hello. Ha ha ha. Right. Camera control should give us a better view. And we'll also ally the camera to us to automatically tag goons as they walk past. Um, hmm. This might be... If we can find a way over this section of fence, that might be a good way to enter, actually. Because it seems less heavily guarded. We can sneak up on that guy and that guy and then round the corner. What else we got? Oh, this is a little bit further up on the roof. Hello. Ooh. He's got a heavy, heavy sniper rifle by the looks of it, or some sort of uh, long-range rifle at least. So this is... Oh, that's the fence that we originally peered through, so there should be two guys here. Yep, there they are. Ooh, there's an actual road entrance, so that's wide open. But I think the guy with the gun is patrolling just up there, if I've, uh, if I've mapped this out properly. Ooh, there's the guy. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, oh, moron, I completely forgot. We can tag through cameras, can't we? Damn it, where's this? Hello. Wonderful. Oh, and he's an actual sniper by the looks of it. Oh, he's a raven. Okay, ravens are maelstrom snipers by the looks of it. Uh, ooh, wanted for illegally obtaining human remains. Yikes. Resistance to uh, fire and um, I think the skull is just... Oh, it's po is that poison, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Hmm, takes reduced headshot damage as well. I suppose that's uh, quite an advantage for a sniper. And this one... Oh, there's the last camera we were looking through. So this one's just uh, a higher perspective. Oh, two more guys here. Interesting. Righty-ho, then. Yeah, that takes us back to the first one. Right, let's see if we can't find a, uh, a handy... Avenue of Ingress. No, we're not going to be able to climb that. You'd think you'd be able to climb these, sir. Uh huh. Got it. You can count on me. No, nah, no, nah, I'd rather do it alone. Do what? I'm intrigued now. Tell me more. Right. Uh. Hmm. I don't think we're going to get anywhere unless we actually. I wonder if we can force this gate. Can we open this? No, we can't. We don't have the body stat for it. We're going to have to circle round. And either take the open gate, which is by those two guys. If I can find a route through. Here we go. So we can either take this open gate here. Or see if there's a way over this fence at this end. I don't... I know. I don't think we're going to be able to scale that, are we? There's no way to hop over unless I lined this... Ooh, hang on. Can I break into this? Yes, I can! <laughs> Necessity is the mother of invention! Because <laughs> this doesn't look even slightly suspicious, does it? Honest. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, yes. Right. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we could really do with hiding somewhere, couldn't we? Actually, let's head over here. Can I... Wait, can I not... Please? There we go. It's better. Let's hide up here. If we get right the way to the back, we should be out of eyesight of this guy when he comes wandering back over. Yes, we are. We've already allied that camera, so that's not going to snitch on us. And then uh, when this guy settles down, we can sneaky snoo behind him. Here we go. And choke the bugger out. Again, I would like to try and keep these guys alive, if at all possible. Do we... Um... <laughs> I... I don't think you understand the basics of being assaulted, sir. That's not how it's done. Alright. Let's pick you up and dump you behind here somewhere. Uh, 
That'll do. That looks suitably cramped and uncomfortable. Uh, where did you go? <laughs> suitably cramped and uncomfortable. Okay. This fine young fellow. Right, let's wait for him to settle himself down and do what he's doing. He should stop about there, I think. There we go. Marvellous. Oh, I am enjoying this. What? Wait. What? Body ident? Are you for real? Think you're clever, huh? I think you're amazingly clever for identifying a body from there. What the hell? Hmm. <laughs> I can see an imminent replay of this section coming on. Um, let's, Come on, show yourself. Let's have a quick look around and see if there was anywhere I should have hidden that body. I don't. I don't see anywhere that I could have hidden it. I don't see any way he could have seen it. Think you're clever, huh? People! Oh, sneaky right here, and a snibbity snow, and a snibbity snow, and uh, let's go to sleep. You're here. I know you are. Now, in theory, seeing as this guy was somehow the only one that uh, knew I'd taken that guy down, oh, unless it was someone up here who had seen. Hmm, I'm feeling this body's a little bit exposed now. Let's move you a little bit further this way so you're kind of uh, out of sight. And then we'll carry on round. In time, those guys further up. What's this? Hip flask? Jiper hip flask. Okay. What was that? Oh. Uh, in time, those guys who were uh, alerted up there should calm themselves down. I hope. Come on out, you little chicken shit. I'm still very, very confused as to how they were alerted in the first place, but okay. Whatever. You're here. I know you are. But how do you know I am? How do you know that I know that you know I am? Hmm. I could attempt to sleep. Out, this is... This is one of those where we've just got to basically make it to an objective and... Uh, oh, shit. No, thank you. Oh, wonderful. Forgot about that damn camera. Looks like we're going loud again. Uh, either you bring her or I am. Go, go, go. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Right, that brings that on side. So at least that won't re-spot us. Wait, what's... Oh, no! There's the camera! Again, let's just... Uh, let's just hack that so it doesn't keep on doing that. Wait, what now? I've hacked you! <laughs> Problem. Come on then, come and get me. <laughs> Chicken. Surprise. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's move on out. See where we can uh, see where we can end up. See what trouble we can cause. There's no way inside this. Oh shit! There's no way inside this uh, this warehouse from here, is there? By the looks of things. See if we can. Oh crap! We can't sign up for it. Man. Oh, now I've got bleed out applied to me. Let's see if we can uh, liven things up a little bit, eh?
Oh, yes! Got a twofer. Nice. Right. Can we potentially heck you? No, we cannot. Hold on, gotta reload. You know where I am. Come and get me. Oh, Jesus. Was he Come marked? On the side. He wasn't marked. He was a surprise. Not a pleasant one either. Right, you. You I know about. You're a known quantity. Ah, oh, shit. You hurt. You really hurt. Oh, balls. Oh, there's a turret. There's a damn turret. Oh, I'm, I'm stuffed. I am stuffed. You're fucked and you know it. If I pull this off, it will be a miracle. No way. No way did I survive that. Unreal. Okay. There's a very big, very scary turret in this room. Can we hack it? Where are you? There you are. Uh, right, we can't we can't bring it on side, but we can turn it off. That's something at least. Oh man. Oh, excellent. They've calmed down the search. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. That's a bit of a trail of destruction, isn't it? Blimey. Right, can we uh, can we do anything to hack you, I wonder? Oh. Oh, no, this is the sniper, isn't it? Oh, he's got a tech gun as well. He's got tech. Look at him, he's fired. Stay with me. Right, he's got a tech weapon, which means he can shoot through walls. That's um, That's a slightly bad thing. Let's see if we can get the drop on him. Damn. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. If the enemies... I think if the enemies are under alert already... Shit. <laughs> that didn't go exactly to plan, I'll be honest. Um, I think if the enemies are under alert already, then cameras don't switch allegiance when you camera control them. So that's good to know. So whereas that camera has got a green light on it, it's meaning it'll scan... Time, shit. Meaning it'll scan four enemies on our behalf. Looks like these ones won't. Right, let's I'll be your friend. see if we can sneak behind this guy again. Damn. Oh, nice. <laughs> Took him out. Right. Do we have everybody? Hmm, that's still not converting to our cause. But what have we got here? A Necomata. Nice. I'm going to sell that. Oh, actually, am I? Hmm, I could keep hold of it, I guess. Hmm, this is really annoying. Let's just turn it off for now. Um, so it doesn't alert anyone who may be remaining. What have we got here? All right, sweet. I think we've cleared all the strummers out. Um, unless there's any left inside. Just uploading a ping to the server. Ooh, that's what we're after. Is that just in this room? Sweet. Yeah, we cleared all the strummers. Awesome. Right, tactics are apparently a good thing. They help people. To do stuff good. Gooder. Right, so we're uh, we're upstairs. Let's see if we can't find this BD. So that that poor um what, what did Regina call him? A T Evangelical? Poor guy. Um I mean personally I oh. Whoa 
Jesus! Fuck! No! No! <laughs> Unreal! Unreal! What was the last checkpoint? What was the last checkpoint? Please tell me we've got a clear checkpoint. No! Son of a... Oh, you for real. <laughs> right, interestingly though, this camera is on our side already. So... Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Oh, that's actually all right. That's played in our favor. So it looks like uh, the quick save dropped when um, we fell off the roof. Chasing this guy. So let's, uh, well, let's first of all make sure that this um, turret has been disabled, which it has. Yep, awesome. Yeah. And let's, uh, let's this time remember that there is a turret there. And let's see if we can't sneaky snoo behind it's this just chap. A of time, motherfucker. Oh, here we go. I'll have a. Oh. Hmm. Where's he going? I know. How the. Jeez. Okay, dude, calm. Is he going to round onto the stairs? Yes, he is. This could play in our favor. Uh I'll be your friend. If we can drop down silently behind him as he goes up the stairs. Which I rather think we can. All right. Sweet. So that's us. Nice. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go back inside, and as soon as I get inside, I'm going to drop a quick save. All right, now where's this turret? Shit, there you are. Turn off remote deactivation. Sweet. Okay. Whew. We need to scan as we move. I think I didn't even consider that this place might have more than one turret. Um, that's alarmingly well uh, well put together defenses for the uh, for the maelstrom. Okay, that's the ooh looks like that's the server that we're after. Lots of goodies in here. Yes, as I was saying, that's uh, the Tevangelical. I mean, people have their views on sort of the um, the. Whoa! Shit! There's a runner in there still plugged in um people have their own right there. cut right there oh shit he's an editor what do you think else it'll feel like stabbing a pillow <gasps> they're editing no way okay. uh, pulling up by one frame augmenting pain feedback and ferrous aftertaste freddy boy you're a natural are these what were they? Uh, Guthrie and Frederick? Sweat stench. No, no, leave it. Some go for that extra kick. Oh, no, that's wrong. Are these speedies of other kids Put that they've maimed? Cuts. Sweat in, sweat out. Yeah, Gottfried person. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the tooltip. Level 8, trash. Frederick person. Level 8, trash. Oh, they're brothers. No. Wakey, wakey, gentlemen. What, what's happening? Security! Too far he away looks really us. young. Well, let's not do anything rash here. We just tune and sell. We don't scroll. Honest to God. We can figure this out. Just tell us Wait. what you want, and we'll make it happen. Shit, I don't think they're brothers. I think they're father and son. Got a little family affair going here, huh? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. No, 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 no. Looking for something in particular? You know, if, if it wasn't us, there'd be someone else. Oh, this is sick and wrong. You, you want to see something really hard for Freddy. We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. Shit. These are some sick fucks. <laughs> some real sick fucks. Yet, I, I can't help but believe this guy. That 
but he's not saying People that he's buy, so we sell he's not saying they're this, this, here this, under this, this. duress they're not being forced to do this by the maelstrom they've got the maelstrom in to protect them whilst they do this shit xbd of a preacher's little boy murdered ring any bells uh which preacher i just got a fresh batch <laughs> with boys no clue who their daddies are They're gonna need more bryce stone circuit writer on news 54. son was bobby stone 12 years old when he died are we talking black white oh Chicano? shit they edit Any bds for so marks? many kids Spinal being murdered execution? they can't even pin down which one it is papa i think i know the one she wants bd 9430 preacher's boy who murdered him who gave you the xbd nobody gives us anything they they leave dead drops we just go pick them up. Keeps things secure for everyone involved. That speedy was raw when you got it. Must have noticed something in the background, some kind of clue. Reflection in the mirror, tattoo. Anything. I wonder if we can find out where these dead drops are. Only See if we can get a lead. Not who makes them. Jeez, this is all sick and wrong. Um. Kindly hand it the fuck over. Now! All right, please, just relax. Just take it. Freddy! Ma'am, it's just behind us on the shelf. BD 9430. I've got half a mind to cut these guys down where they stand. Some... Oh, my God, something's telling me not to. You pull any shit while I'm over here. That, that's it. That, that's one... Just, just take it. <laughs> oh, the temptation. Oh, my days. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, my God. If, the, if I let them live... Oh, shit. If I let them live... They're just going to continue scrolling this stuff. They're going to set up a new operation elsewhere. Oh. Freddy, no! Freddy! Frederick, answer me right now! Freddy can't hear you anymore. My only boy, stay with me! Don't do this. Don't make me do this. Oh my own, please. What? I've just... Oh my god. I've, <laughs> I've just slaughtered your boy in front of you. I've just done to you what you have happily facilitated for dozens of other kids in Night City. And your first concern is that you're going to have to edit on your own? No, sorry, dude. No remorse. <laughs> I felt awful cutting this kid up just now. But his father's reaction, his gut reaction to say, no, don't make me do this on my own, has just completely justified that action. Holy shit. This, oh, this city is screwed up. Oh, man. I don't know what we've just acquired an access card for, but we've, uh, we've just got access to something, apparently. Oh, this is such a screwed up place. Did I do the right thing? Should I have done... Does that make me as twisted as these people? But if I if I hadn't cut them down... I cut down the kid because he's obviously grown up with his father influencing him to do such twisted shit that he's not going to grow up to be a properly adjusted adult. But this guy was so bent on continuing to supply BDs of small kids being slaughtered. Holy sh... What the hell is this game turning me into? Okay, guys. Um, <clears throat> right, snap out of it. <sighs> Back in the room. Archive conversation. Gottfried Person and Lenny Nero. Interesting. I wonder if this has got any clues about those dead drops that he said. Is there any way we could possibly follow this up? Do what you want. I will. I quit. One more time. Do what you want or do you need my permission or my advice 
Sorry, couldn't answer. You're taking things way too far. What you're doing is insane and dragging your son into it. I mean, that's just fucking sick. This can only end badly. Now you've got Eddie's. Hope you can afford that guilty conscience of yours. Oh, look, he's got a winky smiley. He enjoyed this shit. All that pleading and begging was utter bullshit. Goddy, at least leave Frederick out of this seriously. Worry about yourself, Lenny. Oh my word. Who is this Lenny guy? Who is this Lenny guy? I mean, oh, he tried to talk. He tried to talk Gottfried. Gottfried? Yeah, Gottfried out of it. But he still knew this was going on. Why am I fretting about picking up a guitar pick? Right, and there's nothing on his brother. Mm -hmm. A safe, Eddie's? 800 Eddie's, okay, that'll do. What was on the computer? Oh man, if there's <laughs> if there's now something on this computer that vindicated the pair of them and I've just mowed them down. Uh, right, two messages. BD gear from Max Peltier to Gottfried Person. Hey Gottfried, I uh, need some new gear for tuning BDs. Got anything you recommend? Just as long as it's a reasonable price. Hi Max, uh, you want to put us out of business? If the equipment is just for you, then I'm happy to lend whatever I'm not using anymore. By the way, what happened to your scrolls? Yours were some of the best. Ah, oh, he's even got a sick community of XBD scrollers. Great, I'll drop by and take it off your hands. Don't worry about the scrolls. I'm way too deep to give up now. Max Peltier, we are gunning for you. Stuffy nose, winky smiley from Rex Addy. Yo, yo, Tomb, heard you had some minor hiccups with the new BD security features. Freddy mentioned something about not being able to reach the olfactory layer. Oh no, olfactory nose. They were talking about sweat tracks, weren't they? On the oh, here's the deal, yo. The features were included in a new update for Arasaka Tech. I'll need a pro to bypass the protocols, and it just turns out I know just the guy, Hal Cantos. Give him a call. He'll know what to do. I wonder if that's a name that's going to come up. Uh, in the future. So Hal Cantos, Rex Addy, and Max Peltier. We'll see if we uh, recognize those in future. There's a file there as well. What's that? New Sexy Hot. Do I want to open this? Uh, oh, I don't like that. I don't even want to read this. It's it's XBDs that have been scrolled and edited and, and with tags for categorization. Animals, humans, bodies, humiliation, public, old, young, victim, POV, pubic hair, mild pain, femdom, penetration, force, kids, force, death, raw, overstimulation, risk, suicide, virgin, nylon, tide. Oh, I need to go and bleach my brain. Sick motherfuckers. Rest in pieces. <laughs> There's still a stromer. <laughs> I left one out. Oh, my days. Right. Um, quick scan. Make sure there's no more security turrets. Common item components. Nothing of interest in there. Just a busted elevator by the looks of things. What have we got over here? Right. No security in the stairwell by the looks of things. No stairs in the stairwell by the looks of things. <laughs> um, shit. Oh, what's this? We didn't see this, did we? Is this uh, access granted? Oh, really? Oh shit, that's because we picked up the key from the, the fella over there. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh shit, is this the home? <gasps> this is their apartment. Oh no, what are we gonna find in here? I almost don't wanna look around. Right, we got a... Brain dance terminal here, so this is probably where they enjoyed their sick. Oh, uh, oh! Uh, tell me that didn't belong to one of them. <laughs> I feel dirty just standing here. I don't like it. I want to go home. Uh, what is this? I think that's just a record. Oh no, it's a uh, Max Doc. That's fine. We can leave that. We're we're plenty all right for Max Docs right now. Oh, and another safe. What have we got in here? Oh. Electric Baton Alpha. 85 DPS, so it's not all that exciting, actually. Right. Um, I don't think there was anything else of interest in here, actually. Looks like it's just another... Uh, another point of ingress. Okay, let's take a quick look around downstairs and then get the hell out of here and go and take several showers in a row. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm going to take another... Uh Another quick save after all that, just in case I walk into more security. 
Oh, shit. Okay, that's the... Awesome. That is the turret that we took out from outside previously. We got here. Max dock. Computer terminals. Nothing of interest here, I don't think. Oh, my, my head's still... My head's still reeling from that decision that we just made to, um, to cut those guys down. The guy seemed so sincere, and my gut reaction was to just let them live. Okay, sorry for the jump cut. We actually had the game crash uh, just there. I'm thankful I took the save at the top of the stairs. So, yeah, I was really, really tempted to let them both live, but something was telling me that... Uh, Something was amiss, even though the, the fact that they were scrolling and editing... Well, they weren't scrolling themselves, they weren't actually doing the recording. But they were editing these BDs of little kids being uh, assaulted. Something in the back of my head was telling me, maybe they're doing this under duress. Maybe they've got a gun to their head. But it just all seemed wrong. The, the Maelstrom were there protecting them, not forcing them to actually do the work. Uh, I'll come back and read that in a second. Let's check out this side room. So, uh, yeah, I am glad that I, uh, I I did what I did. As messy and horrible and heartless as it may have seemed. Behave! What's that? I think that's just a lighter. Only junk. No, nothing else of interest. Uh, let's go and uh, read this shard. Yeah, as, uh, <laughs> as kind of sadistic as it may have seemed, I think I made the right choice. Okay. Water, chrome and blood. The fourth corporate war. Ooh. Interesting. So the fourth corporate war, just thinking back, was uh, was the war between Arasaka and Militech and uh, culminated, I believe, in Militech's not surrender, but uh, um, sort of backing down and the new USA government that backs Militech backing down from uh, attempting to assume control of Night City, essentially. It is truly remarkable that the large-scale bloodshed of the Fourth Corporate War began first as a simple rivalry between two ocean exploitation corporations, Sino and Otec. Both companies vied for the controlling stake of the failing IHA Corporation. Otec commissioned Militech to secure its business interests and perform certain special operations. Sino, in turn, signalled a cooperation agreement with the Arasaka Corporation with a similar aim. When circumstances at last called for both colossal and prideful security corporations to clash in open combat, the Fourth Corporate War had officially begun. Yet, as is usually the case with corporate conflicts, the onset proved subtle. Arasaka disables a Militech transport, Militech allegedly eliminates a high-ranking official of an Arasaka client, both sides engage in frequent sabotage and data theft operations, netrunners from both sides infiltrate data forts to so uh, sow confusion, gather intel and cause chaos in the stock markets. Though none would have thought it possible in those early months, the Arasaka Militech conflict truly jeopardised the stability of the world economy, making the threat of complete economic collapse all too real. For this reason, Netwatch introduced a communications embargo on both corporations. This did little to slow the conflict's pace, however. While Sino and Otec had unilaterally reached a settlement and reach, uh, and reach an understanding through peace talks, tensions between Arasaka and Militech continue to rise. The separation from the ocean dispute marks the beginning of the Fourth Corporate War's second phase, the so-called Shadow War. Military clashes between Militech and Arasaka were notoriously bloody, brutal and without mercy. They waged their most damaging campaigns on the net. Arasaka and Militech netrunners launched attacks with the help of viruses that were often highly experimental. What's more, they created lethal ice measures and AI-like programs that could lurk in dark corners of the net for long periods to launch strikes at the most opportune times. By the second half of 2022, Arasaka and Militech entered the final phase of the conflict, where both sides used every resource and strategy at their disposal. The Hot War had begun. Around this time, the net that the world had known for years ceased to exist. We've learned a little bit about that uh, through shards regarding Raish Bartmos. And mercenaries hired by both corporations were slaughtered in open warfare by cutting-edge weapons technology. Then... In the war's most shocking and iconic turning point, the Coup de Gras came when an unknown group of mercenaries detonated a nuclear device at Arasaka's Night City headquarters. Ah, yes, this was the end of the Fourth Corporate War, of course. Shortly after the blast, bowing under increased pressure from the Japanese government, Arasaka laid down its arms and withdrew from many of its strategic positions, but most notably in Night City. Victory belonged to Militech. 
but it came at a heavy cost. That's right. Yes. Okay. So I was getting my history confused. So, um, <laughs> stretching back, feel free to skip this if, uh, if sort of Night City history isn't your thing. But I remember now, the end of the Fourth Corporate War came with the destruction of the Arasaka Tower in, um, Corpo Plaza in Night City. It leveled a huge amount of the city and uh, much of it has been rebuilt in the subsequent decades, including, of course, the tower itself. But Arasaka were banned from the United States. They were driven out, driven back to Japan, and um, they were banned from the, the country for quite some time until some time later, Night City, vying for its own personal uh, independence from the new USA government, this is where I was getting confused, actually called upon Arasaka much, much later to come back over and help it defend its interest against the NUSA. Arasaka did, came in, occupied Night City, pushed back Militech and therefore the new USA, and has since essentially been hand in hand with Night Corp, who essentially own and operate Night City uh, since that point. Militech have uh, regained a little bit of a presence in the city, but this is essentially Arasaka's city now. Huh. Let's get the hell out of here. I feel dirty. I feel grubby. I feel slightly depressed by the whole, <laughs> the whole shit show that's taken place here. Uh. Oh. <laughs> More... Uh... More Maelstrom Gangoons have shown up. A little bit late to the party, guys. I'm not going to lie. Let's see if we can uh, launch ourselves over this end of the fence. Oh, yes. There we go. Freedom. Take that, Strommers. Don't give a toss if uh, your boss does want to help us out sometime. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh yes, I spotted this uh, this drop point. <laughs> not, not entirely necessary to take the car there, but <laughs> might as well arrive with speed and gusto and haste. Hmm. Wait, I hold on. Did I press the wrong? It. What? What are you doing? It says X to deposit a job item. Oh, there we go. It didn't work first time. Great work, B. Let's hope it helps trace the motherfucker who scrolled the thing. Fingers crossed. crossed. Sweet. 1700 eddies for our trouble as well. Not too shabby. Would it be nice to learn a little bit more about the uh, the dead drop zones? But uh, I do know that a certain number of Regina's uh, side missions that she gives us kind of have an overarching story to them. So maybe this one will come back around in future and we'll get to uh, to follow up on the, the vicious scrollers of these, these horrible underage violent atrocities. Anyway, um, my brain's thoroughly pickled. I did intend on recording another video after this, but I think I need to go away and uh, find some industrial strength bleach for my eyeballs. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. It's, uh, it's a real pleasure scrolling these uh, BDs for you. Uh, perhaps not, well, not the best analogy after uh, what we've just seen and heard and experienced and felt and suffered. But if you'd like to leave a like or you'd care to leave a comment, you know precisely what to do and I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much, guys. Bye-bye now.